I'm ready. I'm ready. Action. Hello and welcome to Sahel Network TV. This is the girls, just a my name is Oyin. I'm here with some beautiful ladies. Taylor, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you, Oyin. Is that too? I'm well, thank you. Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> because I am so happy today. Are you blushing because you saw me? <laughs> So today, you know, as we know that the lawmakers are meeting today to mm -hmm. talk about the state of emergency to know if it's going to be extended or not. So mm -hmm. I want us to talk about the disadvantages and advantages of the state of emergency. Since state of the public, public emergency. Yes, state mm -hmm. of public emergency since the president has announced, like since the 45 days. So, because I think before he 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 um, before he announced that it was going to be ninety days mm -hmm. until they voted for the five days. So do you think mm -hmm. that there's a possibility that it will be extended or not? Okay, um, I think that um, the state of public emergency, um, the advantages uh, are very high than the disadvantages because um, we have seen that um, in these uh, trying times, everyone is trying in these trying times. Um, we have seen the government has declared that we should uh, leave businesses uh, and businesses and uh, workers to go and work. But um, the only restriction is that we should not go to public places and perform um, yeah. or pray or something. I think that that is a, a very interesting or that is a very um, intelligent decision that the president has made because we can see that in economic economic wise, um, people um, people are now. Um, uh, embracing our own because we are seeing that people are now consuming local local made items uh, instead of foreign made because all these foreign uh, f uh, products that are coming have been banned because of the virus and people are now embracing our local made um, our local made product and that is making our economic um, at least better than mm -hmm. what we had before. Most definitely, I, I have to agree with her. I believe that the advantages definitely outweigh the disadvantages in this case. For example, if they uh, make the decision of extending the state of public emergency, in my opinion, I believe this is what is going to be best for the country. Yeah. Because in the Gambia, we see that most of our people um, are asymptomatic. They don't show symptoms of the virus. Mm -hmm. So you could be walking around with the virus and you don't know. And you could be even, um, you could be showing less symptoms, but you could be giving it to other people and other people will be giving it to other people. But if this um, state of public emergency is, you know, we extend the days, mm -hmm. this will make uh, people be more aware of the social distancing measures that we should be taking. All the precautionary measures that we are given by the WHO. I, I know that in the Gambia, uh, let's say the most uh, congested places are markets. Market, yeah. And they have taken they have taken really good uh, steps in trying yeah, to make the yeah, precautionary okay, measures. Know, some of them are actually complaining. Like, you know, there is usually um, one death. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah so every... there, you know, and then I saw on the newspaper where it's, um, one, one guy that I interviewed was like, um, it's only during this festive period this Fe one day yeah. Day, that they sell their clothes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it has actually like made it very, this, that the state of emergency to their business because it's just yeah. twice mm -hmm. yeah. every year. It's either to basket or karate. So during this karate period now, I think it has made, according to them, their business, like they can't sell yeah. like exactly. they used to before. <laughs> but I, I, to me, I'm thinking that it's better for you to be safe, safe than sorry. Than exactly, yeah. it's better for you to be safe. You can go and be selling there and yeah. get infected. We're going to use the money. But I'll yourself. but I'll have to disagree with you on that point because it's better for you to be safe than sorry. But uh, living a life without your um, your daily income is not something that we yes, could all like most exactly. Of, most of the people here, like they, it's from. Hand to mouth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yes, from hand to mouth. Mm -hmm. But they should also they should also know that it's not like it's everyone. It's not everyone's decision. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not like they are. The the government is happy about this. Do you understand? Yeah. So it's just if if to prevent everyone. It's just if you know like schools now. I am tired of staying at home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I mean, and sometimes when you go to school, you be like, I want to go home. home. This and this. Yeah. So I think there's a time for everything. So yeah. it's better. Most definitely. It's better you be safe 
and then be able to continue your business probably after this pandemic has died down yeah then you get it affected and, and the probably yeah died. yeah and you will be able to yeah and i even i i believe that um the government has done a part their own small part in that uh case or in that situation because according to some people at the market now you have from morning to two o'clock you have people that are so selling food essentials, food food essentials. Food. yeah they come and sell then they they go back home and the people that are selling all this cosmetics and clothes, clothes and everything and they come in so i i believe that the government is trying as much as possible not to just add stress upon stress on people yes there is a state of public emergency we can agree on that but you can see that um they have done their part in making uh this situation as comfortable as possible yeah. and people can still say that uh, they can get their income and live their own lives. I believe um, if this is supposed to be extended, these measures that they are taking should be kept. They and should not make it extreme on people, most yeah, definitely. It, it should be kept as well. And yeah. man, I believe that it should be extended because we are facing um, a lot of cases this previous time because the cases mm -hmm. have been increasing um, these past uh, days. So I think that it's better mm -hmm. to be safe than sorry, as you just said. We should just um, let the uh, the parliamentarians, they know what is best for us, and the president as well knows what is best for us. Mm -hmm. If he thinks that it is important to extend it, I think that we should go, go ahead with extending it, then, um, not, then um, not extending it. But I go with the extension for, for And um, th There's something up that my party said about opening more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That the news because, because they saw, you see Senegal, Senegal are actually in there. Yeah, some of them are. Some it's of actually even the WHO warned that it was going to make a very negative impact on their because they are. You can imagine the 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 level of the cases there is actually very high. Yeah. And considering here in Gambia, it's still low somehow. But yet we're supposed to prevent. The, 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 like mm -hmm. we are not safe until the whole world is free. Mm -hmm. So I think. Them opening mocks or churches yeah. is a very bad idea. It is. Like, for example, when the beginning of the vir uh, pandemic, when the virus came to the Gambia, mm -hmm. we just had one case mm -hmm. and uh, the president declared as a, a state, state of, of public, public health. Right. He's yeah. taking the correct measures. People think it's extreme. They are like, it's just one case. We should not uh, do this. Like, it hasn't and gone so to that extent. You know, you know, the saddest part is some... some don't still believe that the virus, virus exists. That's what I wanted to say, that mm -hmm. it's political and, and stuff like that. And it's really sad. Like, and it has, it's very sad that even people that say it, most of them are predominantly youths. And we should be and the, educated. The, they claim to be educated. If you are educated, you will not believe. It's, this virus is clear. Like it's the motor. It's like the enemy of humans right now. People would think that the thing that was supposed to divide human beings would be war yeah. or something else. But this little microscopic virus came and divided people. This is the reason why I I I, I can see why some people believe that they don't believe in this stuff because they can't see it. Mm -hmm. So if it was war, probably it would be more believable. Mm -hmm. And coming back to um, the religious aspect, people, I believe that people want to practice their religion mm -hmm. every time that they get back because they just, you know, it's, it's an affiliation of yours. You, you need to um, satisfy that portion of your soul or whatever all religious people believe in. Mm -hmm. But um, being preventative of things that will make your religion or your, your religious life extent is very essential. Because if you go out, you say, I don't believe, or I believe in the virus, but if I pray, the virus will go. go. If you all go and gather in a congested oh, place, you. how is Saudi that? Arabia, Saudi Arabia, they know that where most of the Muslims are. I think that's where the head Yeah, yeah. They mm -hmm. close. They close. stop. And, and there so was what, no, there is, was what, no what are you that you want to do? You know, some people actually still go to. Some work, people just they, want to make it extra. extra it's not yeah. that deep. I have to cut you guys in time. <laughs> so let's continue this conversation on our media, on our, on our social media platform. The question still remains should the state of public emergency be extended or be ended? Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot the other <laughs> English. <laughs>